Hey guys, Tony IT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use my AI script for a Discord account, which is like an AI chatbot. So, let's get started. I'm going to make a full review and setup for this video, and it's going to be on listed video for anybody that decides to buy the script. Speaking of buying the script, if you're interested in buying the script, then you can contact me on Discord at TonyScaleYT, hashtag 6969, or you can meet me in my main server, and you can contact me through there, which is https colon forward slash forward slash discord.gg slash tobyskill. And once uh, you are logged in on Discord on your alt account, what you want to do is make sure that you're on a guest account so you can get signed in on your Chrome account. And we're going to head over and click Control shift c or F12. We're going to make sure that this blue device icon up here is on. And we're going to head over to storage, local storage, discord.com. Sort by token. And if you do not see any token here, make sure you are actually signed in and that you have this device icon on the screen. And if there's nothing that comes up for token, then try to restart and use a different browser if it doesn't work. So once we have the token copied, we're going to head over to your code editor. I prefer Visual Studio Code, but I may be moving to a different editor. So once we are here, we see our token right here, which should be nothing, but we are going to replace it with we, what we got in Discord. Make sure that it's surrounded by quotes and that there are no double quotes like that. Also, just make the script break. So once we have that done, you're also going to need a open AI API key, which I'm going to reset the, after this video and the token so you guys can log into this account. So once all of that's done, there's not really too much to it. Hopefully you don't have to install these packages. But after that, all we have to do is just click run and then start debugging and then uh, the debug console right here. We're going to see welcome to Tony Scal YT's AI self bot script name and it should be the name of the token that you put in and then its id and to use the script make sure you follow the tutorial here there is currently no tutorial yet so there's not going to be a link there but if we move back to discord and split the screen into two so you can focus on two sides we have these channels right here channel one channel two and channel three and if we head over back to the script, what we can do is we have some settings. So, MPC is the milliseconds per character, uh, and the recommended milliseconds per character is 100, uh, 150. Zero is instant, and uh, I just prefer 150 because it makes the typing look as natural as possible. And we have use prefix, prefix yes or no. And if you have the set to no, which is on default, then you won't need a prefix to activate the bot when sending a message. And then you, if you have the prefix enabled, then here we have a prefix right here. And then the token is this. And API key which is this. And then we have servers to avoid. So if you want to avoid the bot like talking in a certain Discord server, then all you have to do is copy the id and if you don't have an id option on your screen like me then head over to user settings go to advanced and then you're going to turn on developer mode head out with that and you can click or right click on the server icon and you can click copy id paste it back into visual studio code and all you have to do is just double click and you can paste it right there but since we're going to be using this bot, to, or just not this bot, this server to demonstrate this bot, we're actually not going to put that there. And then we have channels to avoid. So if you want to avoid the bot talking in a certain channel, then you can put the IDs in here. Also, one thing to know is if you want to add more IDs to this, all you have to do is type comma, space, quote, and then you have a new space to put an ID for it to avoid. It's a string, so it automatically gets avoided. And then we have users to avoid. And then all you have to do is right click on somebody's icon and then copy ID. Then we can paste that back into here. 
and that's for users to avoid. But we're not going to be avoiding anyone today. And then we have uh, specified channels. Specified channels means it, um, the bot only talks in specified channel IDs. So you don't have to put a bunch of channels to avoid. You only can um, need specified channels. So for this, we're going to be having this set to false and we're going to demonstrate everything after this. But what we're going to do is just quickly test the bot. So let's hover back to Discord and say hello. Mind my sucky typing. And it takes a little bit to generate a response, but once it has successfully generated the response, which is like you reading a message, then it'll slowly type it out at the M uh, the uh, yeah the MPC of 150 milliseconds per se 150 milliseconds per character. Yes, okay. And then that's just like it'll type anywhere. And then it'll take a little bit to respond. You, if you don't want any delay or the least amount of delay possible, just set the MPC to zero. There still will be a little bit of a delay, but that's nothing to really care about because it only takes like five seconds. Also, I don't know why the bot didn't type in here, but oh well. Anyway, going back to the code editor, we can see the specified channels. So I'm just going to turn not specified channels to true. And we're going to get the specified channel ID of the first channel and we're going to paste that in there make sure that you control s or you restart the code restarting the code in the screen button right here will automatically um save the code i'm gonna head over back to discord and if i say hi in here then it should respond hopefully there we go and i've been heading over to two i don't know what the hell is wrong with the spot but we're gonna say hi again and it should not respond so let's give it a few seconds it should not respond so that's good okay now to demonstrate the other stuff that we have we have service to avoid channels to avoid users to avoid yeah that's kind of basic you don't really need a demonstration of that and then let's try out the prefix <laughs> Sorry, I am back. I had a little bit of difficulties with some of the code, but I have fixed that, fortunately, and I am here to demonstrate it once again. So over here, we have use prefix set to yes, and then we have the prefix set to exclamation mark. Ignore this at the bottom. Uh, there's uh, Don't worry about that. It doesn't mean anything. And heading over back to Discord, if I send a message here, then it should not respond. And if, but if I use the prefix, which the prefix is exclamation mark, then it should respond. There we go. And as you see, I have the prefix enabled and it responded. So that basically concludes the bot. It's really easy to set up and you can add the bot to any server. All you have to do is just log into the bot right here and add a server, join server, and you could either put the invite link or you can put like, um, but all you have, uh, once you have the invite in, just verify your account or whatever. Oh, I don't know why it does this to me, but it always is like glitchy and stuff. Once it's in, all you gotta do is just so I have the bot in, and if you wanna add any specific stuff to the bot, like channels to avoid, uh, specified channels, then just click the IDs, right click copy paste yada yada we already went through that so if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure to subscribe and if you're interested in buying the script for me then check in the description below i am doing payments up front and i will see you guys whenever i make another video so peace